Okay. <clears throat> so, play test for the new Beetle Lady stage. Uh, new file. I just went through the intro stage very quickly. So, let's check out these... Oh, okay. That's what you did. It differs in color depending on the boss. I like that. Very nice, actually. If I wasn't noticing that last time, well, I am now. And, uh, that is very enjoyable. Okay. Let's see what these differences are. Ooh. Nice. Okay, Plant Man's still there. That was new. Okay, the block's down there now. Uh huh. Well, the spiders make perfect sense, don't they? And, okay. <laughs> I'm paying attention to my surroundings and. Spiders supposed to stay trapped up there. Okay, cannon is gone. Got spikes here now. is a little busy. Yeah, okay. I do like the new enemy. Probably not the place I should be going when I have a moth coming at me. <clears throat> I don't know, like, I kind of like the original layout of the start of the stage. This is something that you would maybe see closer toward the end. Can you even double jump with roll to get that, or is it strictly a bubble challenge? Yeah, I was thinking that the moths maybe should have 3 HP instead of 4. Yeah, so those spiders are going to keep getting stuck up there, aren't they? Ah, I see. 
Huh. Well, okay, hold on. So you're telling me that little rhino beetle now I would have to freeze in order to get up there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I did like the original better. Yeah. Like on the previous build, I was thinking, okay, so if this was the final build, this is the first stage I would go to. And I would be taking on Honey Woman immediately. Uh, that's no longer the case, as I would have to obviously come back here with either Rush Coil or some other method. Okay, well, let's see what the rest of the stage is like. Eddie, okay. I see, okay. Ah, okay, I, I see where that went. Not another moth. <sighs> I think we should tone down on the moths a tad. I think the baby spiders are necessary on this screen. Maybe too many ceiling spikes? The contact damage on the moths could go down a bit too. Like, I'm taking far more damage in this stage than I typically would with the previous build. So, yes, it's understandable that there would be, uh, health there. Because, really, at this point, you kind of need it. Yeah, I should be moving along with that. Hey, okay, let's try again. Should it really be able to drop right down on top of you like that? Jeez. At least you can take care of that caterpillar before it spawns the moth.
Okay, yeah. You took my suggestion there. It's a different model, of course, and now they blow up. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is the only part that I kind of got spoiled from in the Discord. Uh, here, reading the word acorn and seeing them in the... Uh... Okay, they blow up too. And you can shoot them down. Nice to know. Maybe I should have just gone backward. via double jump with roll, in my opinion. Well, okay, I made it, but it's kind of a tight jump. Some things I like, some things I don't. Um, the guys are right that it's rather convoluted with uh, enemies now. Okay, so how can I break it down? The previous version of the start of the stage seemed more appropriate. Like, there could be some small changes, yes, but that's a very big... Uh, change overall in layout. Um, hmm. Um, okay. There could be a little less of the spiders and less of the moths. The moths, I feel, should go down in HP to at least three. Four seems a bit much, and it kind of sucks when you're in a situation where you've got two coming at you. Um, I really like the, the little rhino beetles now, and uh, uh, the, the blue beetles too. Acorns are nice. Uh, the challenge on the acorns that you've currently got laid out is actually pretty good. But, yeah, I would tone down the enemies slightly. Um, the fact that the, um, what do you call them? Uh, the things that you took out now, um, those small green spinning blade things from uh, Mega Man 9. Um, I kind of feel like those should come back. Uh, the E-Tank was a good challenge. I like that one. Uh, that underground section is... I, I would say there's too many spikes. 
uh, that one spot with the um, the lone mini spiders, I, I think those spiders should come out. The moths are enough of a challenge as they already are. Um, I guess that spot could have spikes to counteract the, mis the missing spiders. Uh... I still feel that it would be nice if you could get to Honey Woman far easier than that. Because that's what I liked about the stage. But then, as you put it, yes, you would like the average player to be able to take on the entire stage. Now, clearly, in the previous build, if you came into the stage as Mega Man, you couldn't reach Honey Woman. You could with Roll. And that's the whole thing that I'm curious if people are starting to catch on with the other playtesters that the female Robot Master stages are more designed around Roll, while the male around Mega Man. Because it's quite clear that in the female stages, Roll's double jump is an essential key part of traversing it far easier. If you go in as Mega Man, it's a bigger challenge. Whereas Roll technically, yes, has a easier time in all the stages. But there are some where Mega Man is simply better fashioned, especially when he has Rush as opposed to Roll with Beat, as an example. So, yes, I like the stage. Some changes definitely should be made. And I guess we'll just see what goes on from there. Now, is there anything different about the battle? Nothing different. Of course, now when you think about it, after a stage that difficult, having an easy Beetle Woman or Beetle Lady fight is uh, actually kind of a good thing. You don't want to get too frustrated with the stage and then have a super hard boss fight after that. Go back in now with uh, Mega Man. Let's see.
Yes, you're jumping for joy. get through that spot would be to take damage as I just did because there's no way Mega Man is making that jump. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go through this section right here. Uh, those spikes are fine for the challenge. However, as stated, if you're coming in here as Mega Man, it is very likely you need to damage boost that spot. Uh, right here. Those spikes are unnecessary. Uh, I guess you could leave the one below. Uh, I would prefer not having those two there, or at the very least, the first one. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking a different enemy down here instead of baby spiders. Um... Yeah. Although I'm not necessarily sure as to what. Um, yeah, these spikes seem unnecessary. Uh, as are those. Uh, this spot is fine, because you, you can see the challenge with the beetle coming at the block. That would be actually kind of funny. What if there was something in that block that the beetle winds up releasing and it lands on the spikes, but would someone catch on to that and be able to catch it in time or not? Forgetting that one is there. Hmm. I know that when you beat Honey Woman, there is uh, health up there. But I'm starting to wonder if the health should be up there or where I'm standing. Either that or make these two small weapon into small energy. <sighs> yes.
Yeah, now see, the only way to get this health as Mega Man would be with uh, Rush, which I th think is a little mean. Considering how crazy some of the stage tends to be. how I like the moths that just come out of nowhere. <clears throat> These blue beetles here are fine, as are the acorns. There's no problem with that there. <laughs> ah. Is that uh, block there breakable? Does that mean there's something up there? Hmm. I wonder. Also, it would be kind of funny... Ah, that little beetle that was here. If the acorns were to drop and their explosions could take out enemies as well, that would be kind of funny. Save that here. Something I can come come back to later. Alright, I think that's it for now. <laughs>